Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be the books that I plan to read in the month of December. So I don't really have any plans for December, I think it's just going to be a uh, suck it in sea month. November, just a spoiler, um, is a pretty much a mood reading month for me. Um, so I don't really know where that's going to take me in December. I don't really want to set any solid plans. Um, we've got Christmas at the end of the month. Um, I'm going to have videos and hopefully, fingers crossed, at the point that you're seeing this video, I have completed on the purchase of my own place to live. I have been waiting for a couple of months to complete on the purchase of a flat and December is going to be taken up with decorating and getting bathroom fitters in and putting up curtains and fitting carpets and yes so my brain at the point that I'm filming this my brain is a real whirlwind and yeah I don't really think I don't really think that I should actually set myself too many plans for December because I just don't know where I'm going to be so I'm thinking the times that I'm going to be in the flat on my own is probably going to be the opportune time to listen to some of those audiobooks that I've got and listened to um and well as maybe listen to, you know, watch some videos, make use of my Netflix account, which I haven't been doing for a while. Um, so, yes, I'm just not going to make any solid plans for the month of December because I think it's just going to be very disjointed. At the end of the month, I should be doing end of the year videos. Um, so I probably won't be reading much then either. So, yeah, so fingers crossed um, it's all going through. You may find um, that I talk about um, being under 100 subscribers or the purchase of the property in videos that you see beyond this one. I have some tag videos and some recommendation videos that are pre-filmed. I have wanted to get that done because I knew I was getting close to the, com the completion and I knew that my weekends would then get taken up with other things and that I probably wouldn't have as much time to film so I'm trying to reduce down the amount that I need to film during the month of December and into January. However that being said I am reading a book at the moment and that book is Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff. This is the third book in the Nevernight Chronicles. Um, in this book I'm starting to see all the problems that people are talking about with Jay Kristoff in his writing. Um, Yes, he's he's a bit of a misogynist, I think, um, sexist, um, elitist, prejudiced. Yeah, um, and I'm not. I'm enjoying the story because I want to get to the end of me a story. However, I'm not enjoying the writing quite as much that I've experienced in the first 100 pages as I did with the first two books. This series is following Mia Corvair. She is a trained assassin who is out for revenge on the people who murdered her family. She's had some revelations um, happen to her at the end of the second book, which are then carrying forward into this book and how she behaves at the start of this book. Other than that, I don't really know what's going to happen. Um, there is a prophecy kind of ish that needs to be fulfilled and Mia is the chosen one. So there's a bit of that trope in there. Um, and yeah, I just, I don't like where I see things going in this book at the moment. I will keep reading it. I want to read it. I want to get to the end of Mia's story. I want to know if um, the things that she's apparently the chosen one for get dealt with. I want to know, um, does she manage to get the revenge that she wants to get? And yeah, we'll go from there. So I'll let you know at the end of December how I get on with this one. I have made a promise to Lucy over at The Book Bell. Um, I'll link her channel down below. She's a fabulous um, YouTuber. She's one of my must-watch uh, creators. Uh, that I will read Midnight in Everwood by M.A. Kuzniar in December. I had this as an advanced reader copy or ARC from NetGalley and I didn't read it before release date because it doesn't, to me, feel like a book to be read in autumn. It's a book to me that when you read the description sounds like it should be read on a snowy day in winter sat in front of a fireplace. Lucy agrees with me. Um, I did post a comment on her most recent video about books that she's bought um, that I, that's what I thought and she definitely agreed with me on that one. 
This book is about a young woman who is a ballerina. However, she has to marry and um, be married off and take her place in society and stop doing what she loves most, which is dancing. A newcomer moves in next door and he creates an elaborate stage for her to dance on. Only she becomes trapped and then has to find her way out. It sounds absolutely beautiful. And I've said this in previous months. I've said it in previous uh, TBRs. And I just, I really need to read it this month. No, no bones about it. It has to be read this month. It sounds like just the perfect read for those really cold winter nights that we're getting now. Curled up. All right, I don't have a wood fire and I don't have, um, you know, we don't have snow on the ground. I live down in the southwest of the UK. It's very rare we get snow, but under a blanket with a hot chocolate definitely sounds the perfect uh, setup for reading this book. And I'm going to try and get up to date with NetGalley Reads. I have All of Us Villains by Amanda Foody and Christine Lynn Herman. Again, I didn't read it before it released. I should have done um, this book. I can't really remember what it's about, but I think it's a little bit fantasy and I was looking forward to it. So definitely need to pick that one up as well. And on that, um, I also need to read Survive the Night by Riley Sager, which is a kidnapping by a serial killer trying to stay safe. Kind of story so i definitely need to read that one as well um and get up to date with my net galley arcs i'm not really saying too much about those two because i really don't know if i'm getting around to them or not um like i said at the beginning of the video i have no idea how december is going to go for me um other than that i think like i said i think it's probably going to be audiobooks or it's just going to be old favorites rereading um, just to just so that I can pick them up and put them down without worrying about what's going on in them because I know the story inside out. So that's my TBR for December. What are you planning to read this month? Let me know in the comments box. I'd love to chat with you all there. If you have liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I recently hit the 100 subscribers mark, um, which I'm really, really grateful. And thank you to all the guys at the Wizardly Duo Discord who actually helped push me over that little bit of a milestone that I wanted to reach. I make videos every week and they are uploaded on Mondays at 6.30pm UK time and I will see you all again in the next one. Bye!